Hey guys, check out this water. Crystal clear water is not that hard to get. With a couple of tweaks and a few implementations, you can have this too. And I want to show you how. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to Caveman Aquatics. If this is your first time here, my name is Kev from CavemanAquatics.com. I try to make helpful videos in the aquarium hobby. I've got a bunch of videos that helped a lot of beginners get started. So if you're into aquariums, take a look around the channel and consider subscribing. So guys, I do already have a video on this subject. I actually made one way back when I first started the channel. Not way back, but a couple months ago. It was actually my very first video on this channel. But I felt like I could do a better job of it, so I wanted to give you guys a little more information on the subject. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, guys. First, we gotta talk about some of the obvious things. Obviously, we need adequate filtration as well as a good water change schedule. If you don't do water changes and you don't have adequate filtration, no matter what you do, you're never going to get crystal clear water. Those are the fundamental basics of fish keeping. So let's talk about how your filtration actually helps you get clear water. Well, we all know that your filtration consists of mechanical, biological, and chemical filtration. But most people believe that they got to have really good biomedia to get clear water when that's not the case. Your biomedia does not affect how clear or how cloudy your water actually is. Well, indirectly it may, but technically it's your mechanical filtration that's going to give you clear water. Mechanical filtration consists of your coarse, medium, and fine sponges. These sponges are what actually trap the material floating around in your water and take it out and keep it inside your filter. Your coarse sponges are going to take up the big size poop and medium and fine are going to take the smaller particles that are floating around in your water. If you have a good amount of fine mechanical filtration, that's going to help in getting crystal clear water. What's a really good fine mechanical filtration you ask? Good question. Polyfill. Polyfill is super dirt cheap. You could get it in Walmart, you could buy it on Amazon online and get it the next day. It only costs 10 bucks or something like that and it lasts a really long time. Polyfill is a great addition to your filter to help remove the tiniest of particles from your water and get your crystal clear water. While we're on the subject of filtration, let's talk about chemical filtration. You ever go to your fish tank and start to feed them and after you open the top, you get that whiff of fish? Chemical filtration is gonna help remove dissolved organic compounds in your water which can discolor your water and also give your water that murky poop, fish poop smell. That. You know what I'm talking about. Chemical filtration will help remove that. Some of the chemical filtration most commonly used in the hobby are activated carbon and purigen. Both of these work as advertised and work really well. But I will say this, chemical filtration is not necessary in your tank. If you're almost there to the water quality that you're trying to get, but you're just not there yet, try adding some chemical filtration. It may get you over that last little hump and get that water that you're looking for. Now let me tell you about this cool little filter that you may have heard about but you're not too sure how it works or why it's even beneficial. It's called a sponge filter. A sponge filter is going to give you a quadruple whammy of benefits. Let's go over them real quick. Number one, a sponge filter is going to give you mechanical filtration because as it sucks up water through it, it's going to catch all the particles floating around in your water and trap them in the coarse sponge. That's mechanical filtration. Number two, it's gonna give you biological filtration because this added surface area of the sponge is gonna also grow beneficial bacteria on it. So you're gonna boost your bacteria, which is gonna give you an added biological filtration. Number three, your sponge filter is gonna help in aerating your tank. The bubbles that come out of the sponge filter and break on the surface are going to aerate your water, which is something that every tank needs. Finally, number four, a sponge filter can be mobile. Mobile meaning you can remove this sponge filter from one tank and put this seeded sponge filter into another tank and immediately have that tank cycled like that. In order to do this with your other biometer, you've got to pop open your canister or reach into your hang on back and pull out loose media. No, you don't want to do all that. All you got to do is take your sponge filter out of one tank, put it into another, and you've got an immediate cycle. That's the beauty of a sponge filter. You've got a seeded filter that can be moved around to start up new tanks quickly. 
Oh, and let me add in number four and a half. Four and a half is, it's dirt cheap. All right, now that we got filtration out of the way, let's talk about a few other areas where you're probably doing more harm than good. If you're a beginner especially, I'm pretty sure that you're probably overfeeding your fish. Come on, be honest. Fish are always hungry. They always look hungry. They always want food. They'll eat as long as you feed them. But if you overfeed, you're gonna cause problems. Some food isn't gonna get eaten. It's gonna go into deteriorate into your tank and then cause cloudy water. All the food that does get eaten, guess what happens to that? It gets digested and your fish poop more. So it poops out, you got a bunch of poop floating around in your tank and your filter's gotta work on overdrive to get it out. That's also not gonna help. So that's the easiest step. That's the first thing you should do is stop overfeeding and I guarantee you'll see an improvement in your water's clarity. Another area where you may be doing some harm is when you do your water changes, make sure that your water's temperature is exactly the same as the temperature of the water that was in the tank. Swings in temperature of your tank is going to possibly cause bacterial blooms or algae blooms and that alone is going to cause cloudy looking water. Speaking of algae blooms, another very simple way to help clarify your water is just cleaning the inside of your glass. I know it seems very simple but some people don't bother to ever do that. Even if you don't actually see any algae on your glass, it'll still build up a film on it which will affect how you visibly see through your glass and see your fish. Cleaning the glass is gonna help in getting crystal clear water. I make sure to give my glass a good scrub down during every water change. I basically just cover every area of the glass whether I see any algae or not just to get this film off my glass. Next thing you can do to help clarify your water is adding a wave maker. I've got two wave makers in my tank. As you see, the wave makers are placed strategically so that it creates a circular motion inside the tank which is gonna help in removing the detritus from the surface of your substrate and pulling it or pushing it towards your filter intakes. Check out my wave maker in action. I actually purposely left it off all night and the next morning I turned it on just to show you guys how well this thing pulls all this detritus up from the substrate and pulls it towards it which is in the same side as the filter intake. This is how a wave maker is going to help and keeping your water clean and clear. When detritus is trapped somewhere in your tank in between your decor or stuck between some plants, that is gonna cause cloudy water. A wave maker is gonna help in pulling that detritus away from this trapped area and getting it towards the filters to get it out of your tank. So now that I got you guys thinking about wave makers, you should definitely watch this video up here which is gonna help you in deciding the proper placement of your wave maker. But wait, before you do that, Make sure you hit this circle button right here and subscribe to the channel and you won't miss any new content. See you on the next one.